Ah, you hear my plea? Thank you, friend. We've had a wooden figure stolen. A precious one that's enshrined here. I have an inkling who the thief is, and I believe he's nearby. Alas, I'm just a weak and powerless priest. Would you be so kind as to recover the wooden figure for me? Ah, I'm in your debt! Now, to tell you about the thief. I suspect that it's a thug who's recently targeted this area. Night would be the best time to go after him, when he's drunk and rowdy. During the day, he preys on hapless passers-by. Do be careful. I'd be happy to give you a generous discount.
he might be worth something. Hand it over, if you want to live. Money, I can keep. But this statue is irreplaceable. Who the hell are you? This here is my glory! Thank you. I need to get going, so if you'll excuse me. So you want the figure too? In that case, let me explain my reasons. My village is poor. So poor, bandits ignore us. And it's been ravaged by disease. We sought help from those nearby. But no one will lift a finger. At this rate, our village will die out. If I could just bring back this blessed image of Tenjin, it would give comfort to those at their store. Please, won't you look the other way? So, you won't back down. But neither can I. I'll fight you, if I must, whatever way I can! Thank you. I'm glad to see the statue of Tenjin Sama has been recovered. <coughs> so that's what it was for. I see. Very well. I'll speak to His Excellency about sending aid to the village. Uh, Tenjin Sama works in mysterious ways.
Please. Well, I see you've acquired a camera. I knew I could rely on you. Now, if I may, I would like to ask you to take some photographs for me. <laughs> it isn't me I wish you to photograph. <laughs> but as you like. Then I shall direct you to a number of rooms. Be sure to capture the sheer energy of this place. I will await you in the central room upstairs. My mistress paid me to speak to him. It's all right. Well, if you 
say so. You know, I'm crazy about you, remember? The owner says she saw a woman in a purple sash going up to the roof. She must be losing her marbles. Very soon. Then I'll pay up and you and me can. You know. Ah, that's wonderful to hear. But how did you get the money? Well, <laughs> I've been selling some goods that this country is very short of. Next week, my ship will bring more supplies. Oh. Then I will be set. But remember, you're not my only client. I cannot simply abandon them, you know. <laughs> Exactly. You know what? That's what I'm saying. Exactly. You have the goods. There seem to be more than usual. Well, mm. I've built up a stockpile. Mm. I thought you might appreciate a little extra. Hey, <laughs> this isn't good. If I get caught with all this, I'm in real trouble. Oh my, you work fast. <laughs> you certainly know your way with a camera. Now, finally, I want you to go to the room down the hall. You will find a man named Kogoro Katsura there. 
He's rather intimidating, but I'm sure you can handle him. Just make sure he doesn't notice you. And he actually did that. So how are we going to get at Harris? If you have any ideas, Speak up. The consulate is very well guarded. We can't attack from the front. But then they burn smoke. Those black ships are Oh, the horrors I have seen. Did you get your picture? Who are you? Come to the garden now. Admit it. You're a spy for the Shogunate, aren't you? I'll cut you down. I'm about to unleash my most deadly technique. Uh. Well, well, look who it is. What uh, are you doing out here? Nothing important. Ah, oh no, did Katsura pick a fight with you? So you know him? Oh, I know him all right. This is the guy who's been helping me look for Master Showin. Katsura here is an old student and close friend of his. <laughs> this guy never learns. Just the other night, he got dead drunk and danced around naked before falling into a pond. Oh. Ah. I'm sorry. I had an important matter to attend to. <clears throat> All right. Back to the drinks. Next round on me. <laughs> I came to see what all the fuss was about, but I see it was you and Mr. Katsura. Would you join me in my chambers? There is something I wish to share with you. Oh, 
thank you. What a wonderful picture. I can almost feel the life of this place. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The samurai who came aboard a black ship. When I last visited the American consulate, I heard an interesting tidbit. Apparently, that samurai is within the consulate itself. They say that samurai has a hand like a demon's claw and acts as Mr. Harris's personal guard. He came here to conclude an important treaty with our nation. Now I think of it, Kichi is on rather good terms with Mr. Harris. It may be worth speaking to her later. You take splendid pictures. You can stand up to Katsura. Is there anything you can't do? While I do still have some requests for you, for tonight, please enjoy your time here.
Oh, heading home, are you? I heard you're looking for someone who came on the black ships. Taka told me. So, did you find out anything? There you go. See, I told you this was the place to come. And there's more. I know there was that incident, but Kasura's a fellow worth knowing. He might well need your help with this and that. I recommend staying on his good side. I'll warrant his head's cleared by now, so maybe you should pay him a visit. He's staying at the Sakura Inn. Head there now and you'll catch him. I bet he can help you find whoever it is you're looking for. I'm going to keep searching for Master Shoin. Once I find him, I'll introduce you. I promise. You and I are true friends now. No doubt about it. If you're ever in trouble, just let me know. Haven't we met somewhere? Hmm, not the peaceful loving type, are you? Oh, from the pleasure district. <laughs> That's right, I remember those eyes. Sorry about all that. My memory is pretty hazy. Ah. Had a few too many again, did you? Sadly, yes. And they ended up getting soundly beaten by our friend here. To be honest, I might have struggled even stone cold sober. Your skill with the sword is quite something, but you seem to be self-taught. I recommend you test your metal at a proper dojo. Genzui here is off to do just that. And he's no slouch when it comes to his studies either. No wonder he's showing Yoshida's favorite. <laughs> this accursed city is full of outsiders acting like they own the place. Removing them from our land calls for force, not diplomacy. Now is the time to show the world the tenacity of our blades. In the name of this divine country... <sighs> there he goes again. I'm going gambling. I've been let us short on coin of late. Where are your manners, Shinsaku? Show our guests some courtesy. Want to join me? You seem like a lucky sort. I get the feeling you survived a few scrapes you shouldn't have. 